Okay, real quick, we're going to create a portal to a new level. So first I need to create a new sprite. Go ahead and click anywhere on, then click new sprite. Create, I mean. And now I'm going to create portal. Click edit sprite. I'm just going to go ahead and I can either create one or I can go to browse. And let's say I want to go ahead and make this my portal. So I'm going to go ahead and click on behaviors. And in the behaviors, I want it to go whenever it's collided with the main character, it will go to the next level. So go to triggers, go to collision, click on collision, any type, and then click your character. So my character's name is Doggy, maybe yours is name player, whatever. <clears throat> and game flow, and I'm going to go ahead and go next level, hit to go, and when you click on the next level you can either keep it the way it is or you can restart next level level two so i have a level created so i'm going to click level two if you don't have a level created at the bottom where it says game levels you hit okay at the bottom where it says game levels you want to click new level. Once you click new level, go ahead and change the color. And then I want you to go ahead and click load. So now you have it loaded here. Now, this will save anything that you have done on level one if you import your character so you can either create a whole new character for this stage or you can import your other character that you work really hard on so you click on library and then click on the character that you want and then click add to level i had that here because i did a, another video a minute ago So now that when you create everything that you need to create and you want your dog to go back or your character to go back, you need to create another portal. Go ahead and rename that, whatever you want to rename it. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the edit sprite. And you can either make your own or you can go to browse. I'm just going to keep that one. Go to behaviors, again collision, whenever our player, so click on it and then any type, click on your player. So whenever that hits it, what's going to happen this time? Game flow, you can either go back to the next level or you can restart the game. So I'm going to go ahead and click restart the game, go to the beginning of the game. Go ahead and click OK. OK. Go ahead and click play just to make sure this works on this stage. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure this one works. And there you go. That's how you create portals in different game levels.